what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so money in the bank has been completed there's been a lot of people talking about just the overall show what they enjoyed uh on social media and the biggest thing obviously is roman reigns getting pinned by jay uso and it's so crazy that you know people are really just talking about this and how amazing it was and and looking forward to where the story is going to next it's so crazy that i even mentioned it on my uh thoughts and opinions video that jay originally was the guy that pinned roman for the very first time in wwe on the main roster when he was with the shield jay was the one to pin him off the very same move the very same uso splash ah it's crazy how that happened how it's come full circle but now the discussion has become will jay uso be the person to dethrone roman reigns and become the undisputed wwe universal heavyweight champion of the world and that's why i wanted to make this video because that's where a lot of people uh mindset is going towards jay uso it needs to be jay he's the one that pinned him it started with him he needs to be the one to end it all and there's been people that's been on that train for quite some time now um there are even some people in the community that are saying cody rhodes story is over now it's not cody's story anymore it's jay's story i want to get my thoughts on just how that would even work out if that is a viable option of having jay be the guy uh to be roman well i'm gonna be honest with you even though jay is the first person to pin roman reigns in over three years and i think that's that's an amazing story to tell i do not think jay is gonna be the one to get the job done i i just i just don't see it i mean granted jay himself has said he doesn't want to be the tribal chief he said that before money in the bank you know if anything he would want solo to be the next tribal chief so honestly just off of a story point they've already said that but now jay has this he has this point that he could possibly prove hey i pinned you let's set up a match at SummerSlam. i'm gonna get them titles off you or i'm gonna get that title off you you know i've already pinned you you're not the tribal chief anymore people don't look at you as a tribal chief anymore now i'm gonna beat you for that title you know what i'm saying kind of bring it back full story when uh right before the bloodline started jay was trying to get the title off of roman you know saying he wanted a title opportunity so they're kind of bringing it once again full story here but i just don't think jay's the one to do it it would make sense a little bit in a storyline perspective because jay knows roman so well but you got to also look at how they booked roman here jay just didn't beat roman by himself there was a lot of circumstances that played into Roman finally getting pinned. He got hit with the double spear. He got hit with multiple CTE super kicks. He got hit with a low blow. Like there was a lot of things that happened for Roman to finally lose. And he didn't have Solo's help because Solo was incapacitated. He was out. So that it took a lot just to get that win. And then he got hit with the Uso splash. It took a lot to get just to get that it wasn't just like jay dominated roman reigns and we've seen this before you know and i i think obviously they're going with jay versus roman reigns at SummerSlam, which i'm all for it makes sense the story is going to be there and they're going to build up a great match to the point where it's going to look like jay is going to get the job done he's going to be that close but he's not going to succeed he's not it just doesn't make sense for him to succeed in a sense of okay if he does win we we play the hypothetical jay does win crowd everybody it'll be a moment that we'll all remember we're like oh my god he did it all right man jay was the one the entire time he was the chosen one to get the job done didn't win are we gonna really sit it up here and say jay's about to carry the company for the next i don't know how long his title reign would be not to say that he possibly couldn't you know i don't want to discredit him but jay and jimmy 
they've always been in that mid card tag team role and not to say you can't step out of that i'm not saying they can we've seen it with edge and christian them being able to step out of it so it could be a possibility that maybe people buy into him being a main event guy but at the same time i just don't see him being the one to take him down you know just to not only pin him once but pin him twice in back-to-back pay-per-views and this time for the championship i just don't see roman losing twice in a row getting pinned that's that's another thing you gotta kind of try to make people believe in and i'm sure people want to believe in it because it's like well he did it once he can do it again you know he knows roman the best out of anybody else i get that but this has been a legendary title reign and i think if anything it needs to be something to potentially hand enhance somebody else like i think we've i not to say that obviously jay can't get enhanced by this but he has been enhanced by this this entire feud main event jay started with the bloodline he has been enhanced by this entire bloodline story i don't think he can get any i mean he can get a little bit more middle a little bit more love because once again it'll be the shock that oh jay did it he finally slayed roman reigns now he's really technically the tribal chief even though he doesn't want it oh jay finally did it and you know of course people will be excited about that it'll be electric But you also got to make sure it makes sense in the long run. And I just don't think Jay being the guy to do it at that point at SummerSlam, I I just don't see him being the guy to get the job done. For my, it's not even that I wouldn't want him to see him in that position, but it just, it just doesn't make sense for me, you know, especially knowing what we know. We all know. And I know some of y'all are like, not this Cody thing again, but we all know the reason why they did this is because at the end of the day, their goal is to get Roman Reigns ultimately by himself. Cody Rhodes try to get that run back, whether it most likely probably be at WrestleMania. And then we run it back one more time. The question is, how will people be entertained? Will people be interested? Because here's another thing that I can see how some people will be like, well, it's it's Jay's time because right now the momentum is so much in Jay's corner over Cody Rhodes right now. Here's the thing. His momentum, Jay's momentum is at an all time high. And people are a lot of people are going to want to see this end in some way and fashion that Jay gets the job done. But at the same time, it's up to WWE to find a way to book this correctly where it makes sense where we finally get to the point of Roman and Cody but you also got to make sure you don't mess up um Jay Uso in the process if that makes any sense like they got to still keep the interest alive with Jay Uso and but also kind of let it be known that at some point Cody's going to come come back for Roman and what they they haven't really done as of recently Cody hasn't even mentioned Roman and I think he needs to start alluding to that to kind of get people's mind thinking about it because right now everyone's only thinking about Jay Jay should be the one to do it or a lot of people are thinking Jay should be the one to do it but I think they need to as soon as they finish up this Brock Lesnar situation I would still have Cody and I would have probably had Cody just mention roman like do a backstage interview how do you feel about what's going on with the the bloodline and have cody say i said this was going to happen and it's starting to happen best believe everything is imploding the bloodline is not as strong as it used to be and roman is finally starting to realize that without his family he's not he's not the tribal chief he's not as good as he think he is and once it's all said and done, I will find my way to get my rematch with him. And I will take that championship from him. But right now, I got to focus on Brock. Something. It don't even have to be that. Just something to let the fans know I am still trying to finish the story. Because right now, it looks like Jay may be the one to finish the story before Cody. So, it, I don't see him winning. 
I think it's going to be a good match they have at SummerSlam. I just doesn't it it doesn't make sense yet. It just it just doesn't make sense for Jay to be the one to dethrone this legendary reign. It's okay for him to pin him, but it's not okay for him. Well, it just I think it would be a little bit of a hot shot booking because I don't think his title reign. Well, I don't know. I, I can't say that. I cannot say that because we don't know. Maybe it could be a, a crazy good title reign if they booked it correctly. It would be very weird to say Jay Uso is the champion, the head champion of the company. But at the same time, a lot of people probably felt the same way about Edge. A lot of people probably felt the same way about Jeff Hardy too. You know, these tag team legend guys now being heads of the company or top of the card. How is that going to work? So I I don't want to say that it isn't possible to do him being the one to dethrone Roman. I just don't see it happening. You know, it, it's still, once again, it's the story they've built so far has been consistent for the most part. I just don't see Roman Reigns losing twice. That's all I'm saying. I don't see Roman Reigns losing back-to-back pay-per-views I mean, technically, he did lose the previous pay-per-view, but back-to-back pay-per-views in a sense of getting pinned. I don't see that happening. So, I think the story is still going to ultimately come down. Roman Reigns has no family member. He's by himself, and it's going to be against Cody at some point, probably at WrestleMania next year. And then that's when it will all be done. And at that point, Solo would have jump shipped. And it's more so less, more or less, it's going to be a situation where I can see like maybe Solo being one of Roman's last opponents before Cody steps in. So I don't know. We will see how that goes. I think that's probably the route they're going to go with. Solo will be the last to turn. And then the Usos will be backing up Solo. But even he, with the help of the Usos, probably may not be able to get the job done or something's going to happen where they're not able to, Solo's not able to get the job done. And maybe Cody will step in. I don't know. That's just me kind of fantasy booking here. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys think it should be Jay? Do you guys think he should be the one to finish the story at SummerSlam? Or do you guys think ultimately um, it shouldn't be him? It should still be Cody, you know, later on down the road. Or do you guys even feel like maybe Solo should do it? I know there's still some people on the Solo train to get the job done. Let me know down below. We can have that discussion, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on channel road to 150k, and I'm still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.